Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Today I'm going to be creating the much requested finale look of Deepika Padkone from Can 2022. I'm going to be showing you both hair and makeup and stay tuned for that stunning smoky eye in just two steps. Let's start with some skin prep and I'm going to be using the Tatcha Silk Peony Melting Eye Cream under my eyes. This eye cream is extremely soothing, especially if you have sensitive eyes like me. My eyes water very quickly and easily with anything except this eye cream. And it's also very moisturizing. And to hydrate my lips, I'm going to be using the Milani Rose Lip Balm. To smooth out my skin, I'm going to be using the Kahi Multi Balm. This is an anti-wrinkle balm and I've been pretty much using this every single day. I guess it's very convenient because it comes as a balm stick. It's so easy to use it and it's perfect for any skin type. Whether you have normal, oily, dry, sensitive, combination, what have you, you can use this. And to further help to fill in those fine lines and pores, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Taking just a little bit in the back of my hands and applying it especially in areas where I have those fine lines and pores. This again can be used for any skin type and it's very hydrating, it feels very cushiony. It's a gel primer that blurs all your pores and fine lines. Next it's time to neutralize all the uneven skin tone that I have and for that I'm going to be using a peach color corrector. This is the high fidelity color corrector by EXA. I'm going to be using this in areas where I have those dark circles and dark patches as well as dark spots. And why do you need to neutralize this? Because if you apply a foundation over your dark patches directly, it's going to start looking gray or ashy. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation and I'm in the shade 360W. I will be dotting it directly on my face and neck using the doe foot applicator before I use the Real Techniques foundation brush to blend it out. I usually stay away from applying it on my neck till I change into my outfit but today's outfit is pretty easy because I'm going to be wearing a big pearl choker so I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on my neck as well. And if you're wondering, I'm about an NC40 with MAC. I love this foundation. It feels almost like a serum. It feels like nothing on the face, but it still gives you beautiful coverage. You can build it up to full coverage with a couple layers. Let's go ahead and add some dimension now that we've perfected the base. And for that, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm using the shade Dark Cocoa. This comes with a brush tip, so it's very easy to apply it. I'm going to be using this in areas where the shadows form naturally on my face. And again, I'm going to be using the same foundation brush, the Real Techniques one, to blend this out because it's going to have some residue of the foundation. And that's going to mix or combine with this contour and give me that flawless, seamless blend. And to blend out my nose contour, I just like to use my finger. That's the easiest way. You can also use a flat shader brush if you're not comfortable using your finger. Next, to conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using two different shades of concealers from Milani. 145 and 135. 145 is a true match to my skin tone and I'm going to be using this in areas where I have dark circles and also to cover the patches around my nose as well as mouth. Again, try to use a concealer that's a close match to your skin tone to cover up all the dark circles and patches. If you go any lighter, it can look ashy. And after I've blended out this concealer, I'm going to be using the lighter shade, which is 135, to highlight the high planes of my face. And what are high planes? These are features on your face that naturally protrude forward. You can look at your face from the side and see what parts of your face protrude forward. And those are the planes that you can highlight with a lighter shade of concealer. And the reason we highlight the high planes is because it's protruding forward. Light tends to hit and bounce back on those areas first, giving more structure to your face. Especially if there's going to be flash photography at an event that you're attending, light is going to bounce off those areas and make it look more prominent. Using the one size translucent powder, I'm going to very lightly set in areas where my concealer tends to crease, mostly under my eyes, around my nose as well as mouth. I'm not going to be setting my entire face because we want to go for that natural skin finish look that she has. It's time to lock the base makeup so it doesn't move. So I'm going to be using the setting spray by Benefit Cosmetics. It's the Professional Super Setter.
Her brows looked fluffy and natural and lightly tinted in a brown shade. So I'm going to be using the 3D Brow Tones Eyebrow Enhancer from Benefit Cosmetics in the shade Medium Deep. This is a brow gel but tinted and I'm going to use this to brush my brow hair upwards just like what she had and that's going to hold it in place while lightly tinting my brows. And then I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow again from Benefit Cosmetics in the shade 4 to only fill in the sparse areas in the bottom part of my brows. I'm not filling in the top part. While that neatens up the bottom part, it'll still make the top portion of my brows look really fluffy and nice. And to clean up underneath the brows, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer again in the shade 145, which is a true match to my skin tone. I'm taking it all the way up to the socket of my eye. What she had is a stunning brown smoky eye and almost like a smudged coal at her lash line. And we'll be recreating that look with just a couple simple steps. I'm going to start with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa, the deeper shade of concealer on my lid as a base. When you use a deeper shade like this for a smoky eye, consider your smoky eye 80% done already. Next, I'm going to be using a black coal liner in my waterline as well as lash line. This is from LH Cosmetics in the shade black. When you apply it in your lash line, it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be smudging it anyway. Using a pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and smudge this. You can also quickly smudge it with your finger. And then from the Urban Decay Naked Sin Palette, I'm taking a deeper shade of brown. This is called Twisted. And all I'm going to do is set my entire lid with this using a blending brush. I'm going to keep layering this eyeshadow till I'm happy with the intensity. And I'm also going to blend out the edges so there's no harsh lines left. Having that brown base makes such a huge difference and your smoky eye is pretty much done. You can finish up with a coat of mascara and call it done. The black liner in her lower lash line was very understated so I'm going to first smudge that out before I use the brown eyeshadow to smoke it over it. Using the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop, one of my favorites to highlight the inner corner as well as brow bones. And I'm going to finish up with some mascara and lashes. For mascara I'm going to be using the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. For lashes, I'm going to be using TL21 by Tati Lashes. You can see how these lashes provide the required volume. They wing out and elongate your eyes while not covering the lid space. Especially if you have hooded eyes like me, you don't want to cover that lid space. So try to use something that wings out. And here is the finished look. How easy and how stunning is this eye makeup in just a couple steps. And those lashes are so beautiful. They lift your eyes in the outer corner, giving you that elongated eye look. Now let's finish up the rest of the face before we reveal the completed look. For that very understated light blush, I'm going to be using Villa from Benefit. This is a new one. I'm just using this to add a flush of rosiness to my cheeks. For highlighter, again, I'm going to be using Champagne Pop by Becca. I'm going to be using it on the high planes of my face for the same reasons that I explained before. These are the areas on the face that reflect light. And by bringing in more light, it's going to brighten up the face and add more structure. For the dusty rose lip, I'm going to first start with Rock and Rose Lip Liner by Jordana Cosmetics. And then I'm going to lightly fill in my lips with Cookie Matte Lipstick by Colourpop. That's pretty much on the makeup. I love the way this turned out. Now for the hair, it's going to be super simple. I'm going to center part my hair, gather all the hair in the back and tie a low bun. It's not going to be a structured bun or anything fancy. I'm just rolling my hair in the back and securing everything with hairpins. And for that sleek hair in front, I'm going to be using some hair wax. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. You'll literally see the magic unfold with this. This is going to take care of all the flyaways and baby hair as well. 
Last but not least, I got my sari and jewelry on. I'm going to link the jewelry as well in the description box below. So do check that out. And here is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Let me know in comments. And if you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and do check out the description box for all the products that I used along with links to my social media in case you plan to follow me there. And I hope you do. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.